Hello everyone and welcome back to this channel. My name is Nima and this is my Gibson Les Paul tribute which I purchased about 8 months ago. I unboxed it and shared that experience with you on this channel. I will put the link of unboxing on the top right corner of this video and I will appreciate it if you watch it even though it's in Persian. Anyway, when I saw this beautiful guitar for the first time, I felt something was missing on the body. I understood that this is tribute, not as perfect as a standard, but I knew it needs something. Some would say it's an iconic part of Gibson. Here it is. This is called poker chip or toggle switch washer, which is mouthful and it should be around the pickup selector but not like this so today basically i'm going to install the poker chip and i will show you how to do that i have never done it before and i don't understand why gibson didn't do that i mean it's cheap it's five dollars or uh, 50 Norwegian kroner and yeah, I, I mean it's a slight curvature on the around the switch but they could change design or flatten the curve the process we are going through is simple in theory there is a washer here and I should unscrew it and the only tools that I find helpful in this house is these pliers. But the challenge is when you lose this washer, the switch will fall down. So first I'm going to unscrew the plate on the back side with one of these screwdrivers. You can choose to do it later, but because I have access from here um, it's more practical for me to remove the plate and hold the switch with my fingers and then unscrew the switch washer or retaining ring because I'm worried I put the switch back on its place in the opposite position so let's begin so basically this screwdriver couldn't turn a thing so I decided to use this one it's much more powerful and I unscrew now these screws three of them and the next thing is to remove the plate And that's how it looks from the inside. So now I should remove retaining ring um, like this. Oh, wait a minute. My scratch on my guitar. It, no, no, it doesn't go away. Hmm. Now it's loose. I will continue with my fingers. I don't want more damage. I should use a piece of towel or cloth or something. The bad news is that it's permanent. You see, it doesn't go away. But the good news is that it will be hidden on their pocket chip. Like this. Mm -hmm. 
Now I try to tighten the retaining ring, but because of thickness of poker chip, the ring doesn't engage with the head of taco switch at all. I push them even harder, um, and that could damage the switch or wires. Now you see there is two rings or washer in sight. Uh, maybe to avoid physical damage or electrical damage, I don't know yet. But anyway, I'm going to remove them and then we'll see what's going to happen. Now I use this little screwdriver to remove these rings. So we'll back. Now I try to tighten the retaining ring. It's easier. Everything is getting engaged. Now let me tell you something. Aligning the switch pole with poker chip was the most difficult part of the job. Because every time I try to turn and tighten the retaining ring, everything else turned. And that actually hurt the switch and wires inside. Um, the pickup selector didn't work, didn't pick any noise from the bridge. So I gave up for two hours. I was so mad. I went out and then I went back home. I fixed the pickup selector problem and got back to work, finished the job, finished the project. And in the end, I'm happy, now I'm satisfied. I hope you enjoy watching this video. And please smash the like button, subscribe to the channel, and share this video with your friends. See you next time, and take care.